Hello my beautiful badgers, in this video I'm going to be adding custom cars into the universal vehicle controller from Perfect Games. So sit back, enjoy and oh my word, I'll see you all in a second. Oh dear. Hello my beautiful badgers, in this video I'm going to be making my own custom vehicle with the Universal Vehicle Controller from Perfect Games. Now, if you remember, I did a little video playing about with the Universal Vehicle Controller over on YouTube, and my sons want me to make a game, crashing car game. And then my youngest has named it Car Smasher Car Crusher. We're going to create a car from Alex Link's uh, stylized low poly car pack. So, first things first, I'm going to go over here to the Universal Vehicle Controller, prefabs, cars, blanks. Grab a blank stock car, throw it in, right click it, unpack completely, rename it to be sedan underscore zero one, because that's the car I'm going to be making. Go into my cars folder, there's a little friend, number two, and drag in number one. Now we've got a new prefab. I'm going to click open prefab, and now we can start throwing in toys. And if I scroll down to Alex Links folder, which is here, detailed about LODs, you can do with LODs. I just want to crawl before we can walk. I'm going to throw in my sedan. And I'm going to scale him down to be 0.8 along everywhere because he's a little bit too big. And then if I right click and unpack this completely as well, I can do a little bit of house cleaning. Drag that up. Drag these up to the top. Wonderful. Grab all of these and throw them up here into the view. And we can throw our car tires. Uh, back left into rear left, back right into rear right, front left into front left, and front right into front right. And then I can delete to you. Brilliant, you're gone. Bye bye. And then I can pop over here onto my sedan and create a lovely little mesh collider. And on my mesh collider, I can add on convex. Now you can use something like Easy Mesh Cradle or something else to make proper, a little bit more uh, exact meshes, not so slapdash like this, and maybe not so performant. So this is just for this tutorial and make sure everyone can do the same thing because you don't need anything. You can just use a mesh collider and click on convex and away you go. And on my steering wheel, I'm going to go and click movable, do and grab this infinity and make our health infinity. So our health never dies. If we go back into the main object, you'll notice here, We've got two base views. If I've got lots of lots or other objects, I could have more, but I've only got the one. So I'm just gonna drag in the main base there. And steering wheel, I'll grab in my steering wheel. And down here, we'll find this. Ignore deform meshes. I'm grabbing in my little steering wheel there too. And now we've got the fun job of lining up our wheels. And for all of these, we just need to make sure that we reset these to zero so that our wheels I'm going in a strange position and you see here they've kept their zero eights and now I'm just going to pause the video, video, the video while I muck about. But one bit of advice I'd say is close these little badges so that you know you're not accidentally moving the innards, you're only moving the parents. So like you know you set these into the middle here and the real ones, put those into the middle roughly and then you'd grab all of them and you'll change their height and that kind of shenanigans. So let's pause it and I'll play about. Once you're happy with the placement of your wheel, you need to sort out all of these little inner bits. So if I put them to 35 and 0.10, I think that's bang on. And now we'll do the same for everyone. So 0.35 and 0.10. And that's our little wheelie wheelies done. Okay, let's save that. Brilliant. Now we've got wheels, we've got the body of our car. Technically, we can actually drive this and job done. But we want to add some little things like we want to make the windows smashy. We want to make the doors uh, able to be smashed and drop off. And we want to put some effects on. And we don't have a real light here. This is all part one mesh. But we can do some little tricks to, to make a fake light on here. So you can smash it and change the material and things like that. So for the windows, let's first open up our little windows, grab them all, 
and add on glass doom say three for the health of our glass we'll add on here an event smashes and a strong glass that we've got wonderful we can also right click that and add glass shard and now whoosh glass shards everywhere and the back shards you'll notice needs to be facing the other way we start how's that one brilliant the right shards should be facing out 90 degrees let's restart that boom and the left shards can be facing minus 90 degrees how's that smash wonderful very aggressive very aggressive how's the front shards restart uh where is it front shard here there we go smash maybe we could lower that down a touch so bring those down a touch and restart much better and how about our window shards bring those down a touch restart much better a little tweaking here and there now on our doors well uh, click on our doors and add our little mesh colliders on our doors let's not forget click our little convex now our convex is done brilliant uh, inside the art prefabs cars pg86 folder in the universal controller i'm going to drag in the stock car and i'm just going to steal something from it and um, we can turn that so it's not visible because we don't need to worry about that and go view and on our doors our left door we're going to copy that and you'll notice that the max limit what is 70 and on the right door max limit is minus 70. that's the difference so we're going we've grabbed a left door we're going to grab these two and just paste in this little badger and just because i'm lazy i'm just going to grab in the right one because i can't be bothered to put a minus sign in and we're going to put those on the right door oh and now if i pop over to the left and going to change that view so that's hang on that's better there we go and if we click on the two front doors i'm going to move this little nobbin to about uh 135 and on the rear doors i'm going to move this little nub into about 0.95 yeah that will do so i've got one nubbin at the back one nubbin at the front both the doors you see the back ones are far smaller than the front ones okay dokey uh get back out of that view and now oh, wrong view that view and now we need to add in our little light bulbs here we don't have any special lights but we can do some cheeky cheats so if i go onto my sedan uh here in the view i'm going to click on create an empty and this is going to be my lights i'm just going to put that there if i now change this view and go up how's that that looks about right doesn't it up a touch into the middle looks like he's in the middle looks like he's in the middle it looks like he's happy and now we're gonna right click and i'm gonna create uh, an empty i'm gonna call these headlights in my headlights i'm going to now create uh, a 3d object which is a plane i'll show you a very cheeky way of doing this and if i change that to be 90 degrees i'm going to remove this mesh collider because i don't need it and i'm just going to now start sizing this down so that's that yay hi because as you might guess it we are going to make ourselves some little lights so now we're just gonna place our little plane in the right place yay place him in the right place move him there in the middle move him up a touch and carry on rescaling him until we're happy and that looks like we did bang on now i'm gonna go back to my sedan change the headlights put in this broken headlight and if i go back to my plane on my plane i'm gonna put this uh lights 
here, the headlight script, which is the headlights which are off, they're not shiny, and I'll just play about putting in the position that I want him to be in. Well, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to rename him now. I'm going to call this one um, left because he's my left, your right. And now we're going to add on our lights object script. I'm going to have here an event like we did with the other one, but this one is going to be easy smash. And the health of our lights are going to be five. Brilliant. And over here, we're going to have a light material on is going to be this nice shiny one. And now we just need to add in. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's right click that, create a light shard, smash, smash. And if we click on that, brilliant, it smashes off. And now on our left, we want to have. Um, do you know what? Should I make this a child? I don't know if that would work if I make it a child of it. Let's see. Hmm. Hopefully. Oh no! See that did that wasn't a good idea. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Instead, what I'll do, I'll just create an empty here, and I'll call this one left, and put that one there, and make these two children of left. That's better. And I'll call this one light. And inside there, I will create a, you guessed it, a spotlight. And we just need to rotate that so it's facing the right way. Quick way to do that is just grab that and rotate it up and then just tweak your settings that you want it to be. 90, zero, zero. Beautiful. Well, we mentioned it before about stealing things again. That's why we're going to pop back down to here. Find him, open up the body. Uh, open up his lights. Find front light. There he is. Just copy your, copy your. And over here, paste it in. Brilliant. Now we've got our values for our little little badger there. And then when he turns on, we'll change the material. But now we need to drop in the spotlight game object. We've got our material that would change. When it's off, it's this headlights. When it's on, it's this lights on. Beautiful. You can also muck them out of whatever settings if you want. If you've got broken glass materials, whatever, you can do on that. But um, we're okay at the moment. You know what? We're good. We are good. And if I, we could even, you know, if we wanted broken glass material, should we? I'll put that see-through broken glass on there. Why not? Just to see what would happen. We don't need to. But there, we laugh. And um, light is on. Got a shard. Now we just duplicate that and put that as a positive instead of a negative. It should hopefully be all in the right place. And we just tweak it a touch with our rotation, and we'll be fine. Rename him right, and we're pretty much done at this point. Now, if you had more funky things you could add on here, then uh, yeah, you'd, you'd have a lot of fun. But right now, we've got our little light shining out, our headlight shining out of this one. We've got our doors, we've got our windows, we've got our wheels. Let's jump inside, uh, click save, obviously. Oh, before we do that, let's remove this one. We don't need you anymore. Away with you and save. Let's put him into a demo scene and see what he's like. I've thrown in our sedan in the destruction demo scene and if you want to enable turbos and boosts you can do like that. Just add it in and change these variables so you could script these in like I'm going to do and say like if you if you buy an add-on or you enhance your vehicle then you get turbos and you get more boosts by the more add-ons you get. That's, that's the idea that I'll be going for. And if you want to tweak the damage, you could always say, okay, this is a uh, lesser quality vehicle, less sturdy, so it will take damage far easier. And you can even up the deformation multiplier as well, if you wanted, and, and tweak these other values, which at the moment, I'm not too sure about what they all do. I need to be doing more reading on the manuals. But I do know if I tweak these little badges, then I can really smash my car up into little pieces. Let's click play. Oh, it's got our lights on. Oh, it squeaks a lot. 
push L, we can see our lights. There they are. And let's go smash up our little car. Go over here. Go smash. Oh! Oh my word. That took a beating, didn't it? Let's go and go into the crusher. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lights are still working. Lights are still working. You wish you could take out my lights, but you can't take out my lights, Sunny Jim. Go here. Oh, I nearly got through. I nearly got through. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Oh, that's it. Level o that's Game over. He's dead. <laughs> Game over. Cars crashed. So, I need to make 100 more of these. So, if you like these videos, you want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below. Tell all of your friends, random people on the street that message coder is going to be busy playing with cars for a while. So, if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.